That's right. This is my final video. Of 2021. What, you think I was done? I'm just getting started. Right on cue. Outstanding. Pretty cool. I was able to start just making exactly what was in my mind again. So I thought at the end of the year, I would do a uh, year in review. Kind of summarize the last 12 months, say thanks to some folks, highlight some lessons learned, and uh, tell you the future of the channel. Overall, the year was pretty good. You know, I started a YouTube channel back in August. Since then, I've got 5,000 views, 190 hours watched, and a staggering 50 subscribers. On Twitch, I started getting serious about it. And since then, I got 136 new followers, 119,000 hours watched or some shit like that, and uh, 289 subscriptions. All numbers I would have never thought possible if it wasn't for the people who supported me along the way. So for that, I gotta say thanks. See, but numbers in a sense are just that. Numbers, they don't really capture the, uh, the meat and potatoes. The reason why you came to watch this video. So let's get into that. Uh, to be honest, everything that happened over this year nearly didn't happen because after I met some dog water communities and some pretty shitty small content creators, I nearly tossed this whole thing aside. See, I also streamed for about a year and a half off and on, no real direction, no real identity. I don't even think I still have that, but I'm working on it. And that probably didn't help. I'm also not very attractive and I'm not a pro gamer. I'm also not nearly as funny as I think I am. Anyways, while I was betwixt emotions and stats, uh, I met some pretty cool people in the 11th hour. I also discovered some pro tips on how to make adequate, legitimate content. So for all that, I gotta say thank you because if it wasn't for you all, I probably wouldn't have grown or expanded beyond what I thought was possible. Also, big thanks to Maple Syrup, I St. James, Gertie Beats, and now Aqua Stone Throne. I really appreciate you guys letting me use your music. It's really helped find style and tone for the videos. I hope that in the very least, everything that's going on here has brought you guys some new fans and more exposure. So keep up the good work, fellas. To the folks that helped me make content, thank you. Thanks for lending me your time. Thanks for lending me your trust. I know uh, things don't always go as you expect and you really don't know what the end product's gonna look like. And sometimes I have, I will admit, I have edited things to uh, not be entirely accurate for the sake of humor. And you keep coming back. I have no clue why. Uh, maybe you're all masochist. I think that's the word I'm looking for. All right, so now that the sappy shit is out of the way, let's get on to the lessons learned. Because at the end of the year, it's a good idea to reflect for a short period on where you are, where you used to be, and uh, where you wanna go. But uh, more importantly, you need to learn from things. All right, so let's go over uh, four things that I learned in 2021 as a small content creator. Number one, remember why you started. Now, if you started because you have some get famous bullshit plot, uh, good luck, uh, that's not gonna last. The why is what keeps you going and uh, helps you find enjoyment while you're doing this whole thing. So for me, this has been a great outlet for creativity. And I also get to make awesome memories gaming with my friends. And just maybe someone watches these videos and for a few minutes out of their day, they get some solid entertainment and a few laughs. Now granted, this won't last forever, but I can tell you two things right now, one which will slow me down and the other one which will stop me. Uh, for my profession and school, That'll slow me down. The two things that'll stop me, my duty as a husband, and more importantly, as a father. But when I start lacking the latter, that's when this all ends. It's curtains. So second lesson learned, and I touched on this a bit earlier, there's a lot of uh, small content creators out there who are just trying to get exposure by any means, at any expense. And maybe it's good, bad, and different. Maybe they just don't know how to go about things, or maybe they're just looking for a Discord that has a self-promotion so they can spam the shit out of it. Either way, let them and just move on. Lesson number three, don't worry about stats. You see, it's no surprise that the number of Twitch followers you have 
does not correlate with the number of viewers you will have, nor will the number of YouTube subscribers correlate with the number of views you get. In fact, you might get more views outside of your subscribers than you do within your subscribers. It's just how it is. What you should focus on is making stuff you enjoy and would watch. And don't worry about trying to find shit that people like. It's, I, I just fuck, I might be making this video for myself. <laughs> so lesson learned number four is start before you're ready. Uh, don't wait until you have a $600 camera, one of those sure microphones and all that fancy shit with the perfect script and your video is just fucking so good and you just, you know this is the one because I'll tell you something, yeah, it's not. Your first video is gonna suck, dude. Just embrace that cringe. The Back for Blood video that got like 800 plus views was recorded with the uh, dreaded Blue Yeti and a flimsy green screen and I just rode the struggle bus recording that thing. And it still worked out. You don't have to have the best equipment. Just make something you think people want to watch, something that you'd want to watch, and then just send it. Uh, no one's going to see it anyways. So yeah, channel goals. Uh, I wanted to hit 100 subscribers by the end of January. Uh, likely not going to happen. Uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a selfish reason. I just really want to get rid of that long URL and have my own personal URL. Uh, that shit copy and pasting everywhere just looks so stupid. And honestly, I don't really have any additional goals other than to meet more like-minded people, create consistently, and then become more comfortable while being in front of the camera and maybe recording solo. That's really about it. Oh, and maybe be more funny. But honestly, I, I really feel like I'm the pinnacle of humor. Uh, JK, GF, JK. Now I can tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to slap together some clips and some highlights and call it good. I'm not going to go download my four hour Twitch VOD and then transfer it to YouTube and call it satisfactory. I'm also not going to make Let's Plays. See, that's not my style. Now, if that's your style, I'm not knocking it. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you love. But that's not what I'm here to do. I'm just saying I want to make something a little different that people with similar interests would want to watch. So that's it. That's uh, 2021 in a nutshell. You know, looking forward to what we can accomplish in 2022. Uh, good luck to everybody. And uh, I'll see you next year.